never give up until this city is freed first and this nation second from the terrible shackles of marijuana prohibition. Kick it! We are going to end off the show back here at Shaw TV Studios to talk about a movie, a documentary. And I have with me now the director and producer. I've got Roger, Evan, Larry, and it's called Citizen Mark, and it's a doc about Mark Emery. So my first question is, why Mark Emery? Uh, well, first, thanks for having me. And then in terms of why Mark Emery, when... Um, I f when my wife and I, who's my filmmaking partner, Sandra Toms, uh, first started making this documentary, uh, before we started making the documentary, we'd been looking for about a year uh, for a subject that we could do a longitudinal documentary about. And by that I mean something like Hoop Dreams, where instead of spending two months, three months with somebody, the typical, you spend years. And uh, I knew this would be difficult, um, and I, but you know, the plan was is that while I make other TV shows and other feature films, that, that we would just have this continuing ongoing. And so one of the, big, the biggest challenge there was to find somebody you wouldn't get bored of, that wouldn't run out of story. <laughs> and that's how we came to Mark Emery, because he never gets boring. I, you know, uh, my wife and I started fighting about uh, what he means and what his, uh, his uh, experience means uh, in 2006, and we're still arguing. Oh my goodness. All right. So I guess the biggest controversy though, he has spent time in jail, you know, for I guess trafficking marijuana seeds, but it's much more than that. And you delve into the way he was politically when he was young and how does it all connect to where he is today? Well, just about wh why he was put in jail. First of all, he was uh, arrested for selling marijuana seeds to uh, Americans over the internet. Um, he was netting over a uh, million dollars a year at one point for a couple of years. And he, um, but there were many, many Canadians selling marijuana seeds over the internet to Americans from Canada, but only Mark Emery was, was arrested and extradited to the, the U.S. And the reason for that is that he's the only one that was putting his profits back into legalization causes, not just in Canada, but spending huge amounts of money in America, including California, Washington State, and, and Colorado. And of course, the, the last two have uh, just recently legalized uh, marijuana. So he really made himself a target for the U.S. government by uh, putting all that money uh, into uh, attacking their policies. And uh, when they arrested him on the day of the release, or on the day of the arrest, the DEA, the, the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration, put out a press release that didn't mention uh, the seeds. Um, it just said that the marijuana legalization movement in the U.S. would now have one big less pot of money to, to draw upon. Well, and you think of spending so much time with this character. Um, Roger, what have you learned, I guess, maybe, maybe about Mark and maybe about life itself and your ideas about marijuana? Well, um, I, you know, one of the biggest things that I learned and the thing that I was most interested in in terms of a sort of big learning curve thing was, was the, the idea of civil disobedience and where Mark Emery fits in that tradition. You know, civil disobedience is something that was made famous by uh, um, Mahatma Gandhi and uh, uh, Nelson Mandela also, to, you know, practiced it, and uh, Martin Luther King uh, uh, also you know, incredibly famous for passive uh, break, like nonviolent breaking of laws to try to enact political change. And so Mark Emery has used that brilliantly, um, and I was always fascinated about that, but I was curious as to why has Mark been so successful as an activist, and how can civil disobedience be used effectively to, uh, to, to enact change? Uh, the film starts with a quote from Thoreau that uh, the only just place in an unjust society, the only just place, the only place for a just man is a prison. <clears throat> that starts the film, and at the end of the film, Mark Emery, after fighting for freedom his whole life and through the whole film, uh, ends up in jail. But also, he has one of the biggest egos I've ever seen, ever. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's unbelievable. Um, it's off the charts. And a lot of people, that makes a lot of people crazy. It also makes my movie very funny. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, I, in the end, I r realized that there was a big connection between his massive ego, which puts some people off, and his ability to get so much attention, and uh, his willingness to die for a cause. Well, lastly, what do you hope people get from Citizen Mark? 
Well, first and foremost, I hope that, that they love the story. Like it, it's a it's a roller coaster, and uh, it is you know political, but it's a political comedy on some level. I hope that people, when they finish it, feel like they've had their cake and eaten it too. Okay, not <laughs> smoked it too. Well, first they, they smoke, <laughs> and then they want the cake, and then they have it and they eat it. Okay, once again, Citizen Mark here in Winnipeg, October 24th to the 30th at Town Cinemas. That's a wrap for Go Winnipeg, and we will see you tomorrow right here on Shaw TV.